Welcome to the Data360 Analyze Excel File Node video. In this video, I'll show you the different ways you can acquire data from an Excel file using the Excel File Node. Firstly, let's start off with a simple standard Excel file that has one worksheet of data. To acquire this data, locate the Excel File Node and bring it onto your canvas. In the Properties panel under the File property, select the File Picker and navigate to the Excel file that you would like to acquire. Data360 Analyze supports the file formats .xls, .xlsx and .xlsm. Alternatively, if you have the full file path and file name of the file, you can paste it here. Please note, Users on the Data360 Analyze server version will need to upload their file to the server before they are able to acquire it into Data360 Analyze. In the name property, rename the node to something that describes the Excel data that you are acquiring. Run the node and then open the output pin to view the data. If you try to acquire an Excel file with multiple worksheets, it will acquire the first worksheet of data but present a warning that advises that the Excel workbook contains multiple worksheets of data. If you would like to acquire an Excel workbook that contains data on multiple worksheets, the easiest way to acquire this data is to create additional node output pins to match the number of worksheets in your Excel file. For example, I have an Excel file that contains three worksheets of data, Account Payments UK, Account Payments US, and Account Payments AU. To acquire all three worksheets, I will navigate to the Define tab, scroll down to the Output section, and create two new output pins. It isn't mandatory to rename the output pins, but it is always best practice, so you can clearly identify what type of data is in each pin. Once you have created the pins in the Define tab, you can see the output pins are created on the node icon. Now I will run the node. The data from each worksheet has now been output to the different output pins. Last but not least, if you're in a situation where the data in your Excel file does not start in cell A1 on the first worksheet, or maybe you only want to acquire a certain section of your Excel file. You can use XML to specify the starting and or ending position of the data you'd like to acquire. Under the optional section, you will find the workbook spec example property that contains example XML that you can use in the workbook spec property to specify which part of the Excel workbook you would like to acquire. Within the workbook spec example property, you'll find examples to specify the sheet name, sheet index, header row, data start row, and more. For a full list and explanation of XML, please visit the help page of this node. Now we are going to acquire this country codes data. As you can see, the data does not start in cell A1. The header row begins on row 5, the data begins on row 10, and the worksheet name is country codes. Using this information, along with the example XML, I am going to acquire this data into Data360 Analyze. First, I will select the country codes file and rename the node. Next, I'm going to copy these three lines of XML from the workbook spec example property and paste it into the workbook spec property. I will change the sheet name to country codes, the data start row to 10, and the header row to 5. Finally, I will run the node, and when we open up the data viewer, we can see the three records have been acquired correctly. For more information and help on the Excel file node, its properties and XML, click on the Excel file hyperlink in the properties panel to take you directly to the help page of this node.